Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's Johnny Torres, back with another YouTube drum video. Um, I'm sitting in the living room right now, cleaning my drums. Uh, I got a gig today. It's Saturday the 18th, and uh, we got a uh, a private private party today that we are going to be doing uh, here pretty soon. So I just wanted to get get with you and talk a little bit about uh, the gigs that I do. Um, here in the Midwest. So uh, today's gig, like I said, is a private party. Um, compared to some other places where I've lived, you know, like in Washington, close to Seattle, uh, Austin, San Antonio, um, you know, there's been quite a few places I've lived and I've, I've gigged in the past. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what the comparison in pay is um, here in the Midwest compared to some of the other places I've, I've been before or I've lived before or I've stayed at, you know, with friends or, or in a band. Um, so in the past when I used to live in Texas, um, we would do these gigs, these 40 minute, 40, 50 minute slot gigs. And they were really nice. You know, you, you know, the PA was provided for you already. Um, everything was there except for the drums and the amps, of course, but, uh, you know, you'd set up your stuff on the stage right away and it usually was like a two to three or four band slot night, you know, and, uh, I was always fortunate to be with the band that played like the headliner, um, in some occasions, I mean. Uh, the metal band that I played for, if you go through my videos, there's a, there's a song there that uh, is kind of heavy, you know, and there's a picture of me back in the uh, 90s. When I played with that band, that band was pretty popular and we opened up for a lot of, lot of bigger, bigger acts like uh, Obituary, Death, and when Pantera, you know, they used to have their... Uh, their knockoff side gig where they wanted to just play in a smaller club. We'd open up for those guys. I mean, uh, Biohazard, um, boy, there's just so many groups that we played with. And uh, White Zombie, I got to meet White Zombie. Uh, they had their bass player uh, back then had a birthday in Austin and we got to uh, play their party. So that was a blast. Um, I've been fortunate to meet a lot of great bands and players. So um, the only th difference between between those places, like in uh, San Antonio, uh, Austin, uh, Washington State, you know, you'd have to you'd have to uh, go out and and promote your your gig and pass out tickets. You know, and every ticket that would come back to the establishment some of these places would have give you tickets that was like a buck so if three people showed up that was three bucks you know i'm sure it's better now um i hear in nashville it's it's better now it's at least 50 bucks for some some bands but here in the midwest man we're like um we're like doing four sets uh, a gig you know like something like from nine to one in the morning eight to midnight, six to six p.m. to ten. And uh, some of these gigs play good. It just depends what type of band you're in. If you're just starting out, you know, you're gonna make a couple bucks. You know, you're gonna make maybe 50 bucks, maybe maybe 80 bucks. Uh, some of these other bands that play around in the, in the bars, in the smaller bars here, they're each making about a hundred bucks, you know. And if you can get into like one of these bigger bands, um, like I have a couple of friends that play in uh, these summer bands and in the band that I play with right now, uh, you know, if you can, uh, if you can get into a bigger band once you uh, market yourself and, and kind of get yourself out there and start, start playing with other people, you can start making quite a bit of money. Some of these bands make really good money. So uh, it just depends, you know, it's, it's once you get to a certain level, you know, you're not making 50 bucks anymore. 
you're making uh, maybe three times that or, or four times that in a bigger bigger summer group where you're playing you know festivals uh, weddings parties all that stuff so the Midwest has been pretty good to me and uh, compared to like when I played in Austin back then in the 90s it was I was walking away maybe with with 10 bucks 15 bucks even in blues bands when we play like at uh, the steamboat everybody knows that one Anton's uh, there was a little bar in Austin that I used to love it was a small small place but such a such great talent there a lot of great blues bands it was called Joe's generic I don't know if anybody remembers that but uh, so many good players there and you know that place too was maybe like 50 bucks a night or, or less so just depends here here I've, I've been fortunate to uh, to play with good people um, good bands and I had to work at it you know I had to work my way up I started from nowhere like I started from a regular blues band and uh, here in the Midwest and I had to work my way up I had to market myself I had to uh, <clears throat> talk to people and go to open jams and meet people and 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 just hang out you know be be honest and and uh, be modest you know and uh, yeah you can make some really good money so today <clears throat> I'm gonna take you to that gig uh, to this private party I don't know what to expect yet but uh, should be a good time man we're gonna have fun and uh, yeah and we'll see you there once we get there. All right, so we are here at this private party now. Looks like we're playing outside. For the day all right i'm all set up here all ready to go beautiful day just waiting on billy the singer so we'll be rocking any moment now all right so special moment mike just bought a brand new guitar les paul and here's the case. Look at that. Beautiful. Not even any cat hair in it. Nope, not yet. Or pants. Or, or condoms. Nothing. Uh, there's some used ones in the, in the other case. Yeah. Here it is. I Look at that. <laughs> wow. Just rinse them off. They're good. Beautiful. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it. Your money's worth. Sweet. Pretty soon.
are done. We are done. We are all set. We just finished our last set with a little ace of spades. As you can see, there's some people still coming, still coming in. And I'm about to uh, take all the mics off, take all the cymbals off, and I'll see you once once we're all packed up. Oh yeah, this gig here is really nice because it's like a private party for a retirement, and they have food for you. They have uh, you know drinks, whatever, water, uh, and it's really nice out today. So great gig. All right, guys, thanks for uh, tagging on to this gig. Like I said, uh, it was a good gig today. Stuff like this, like private parties pay very, very good. If you're in a, if you're in a good band, you know, uh, it could pay very, very good. Um, like I said, some of these gigs, you gotta play four hours. Um, it's not as bad as people think it is, so it's all good but uh yeah i just wanted to uh uh touch base with you one more time and thank you for tagging along and if you like this kind of stuff thank you very much and for your support my name is johnny torres and we'll do uh we'll do another video i'm not sure what yet but we'll keep it rolling all right so thank you once again like and subscribe if you like this stuff Keep on rocking, man. See ya.